This video is purely for harm reduction and does not promote the use of drugs. Welcome back, Nexus lovers. Now, 30 mg is already an intense dose, but 40 mg is where the experience gets heavy. See, at 30 mg, you were swimming in deep waters, but you had some flippers and a boat following you along, making sure you didn't drown. At 40 mg, you're pretty much left to yourself in that ocean, and you're expected to know how to swim. 40 mg isn't 30% more intense than 30 mg, no, no, no. It can be double the intensity or more and you're going to be completely enveloped by the experience. Just remember that effects vary a lot between people, especially since very few of you will have 100% pure 2CB. This is especially true if you're taking pills. Now, that calm headspace that people talk about starts to become a lot more like acid or mushrooms, with its own goofy personality, and you can expect to be completely entranced. The visuals are going to get really crazy. Your vision is going to be layered of geometry within geometry. Every color on every surface will be extremely vibrant and shimmer with beauty. Traces can genuinely look like solid objects and can stain your vision for minutes. And since you can also expect time to dilate, it could even feel like much longer. Everything will just become rapidly changing patterns which will flow with your thoughts and you can expect really profound insights about yourself, your life and the nature of reality. You might also get noticeable auditory hallucinations and your hearing is going to be extremely heightened along with all your other the senses. This dose is where you can expect a lot of mental confusion. You might have trouble reading unless you really focus on it and you can expect to lose a good portion of your short term memory and forget things as they happen or forget what you were thinking about. At some points in your trip you might even forget you even took a drug. This dose should only be attempted if you're in a safe place that you feel comfortable in and you're in a good mindset. It starts to get more difficult for your ego to control the experience as you'll find yourself becoming very aware. It's likely you'll have profound, potentially spiritual experiences at this dose and you may even feel things communicating with you. The body load can be quite intense at this dose and you may feel really stimulated but this generally goes away after the come up and you'll usually just feel extremely physically comfortable with loads of euphoric energy flowing through you. Though this isn't always the case, a lot of people might get nausea, I recommend you take some ginger beforehand. Just in case. 2CB comes across to me as very playful, funny, goofy and this personality really comes out of this dose and above. Though even this dose can be quite forgiving relative to equally strong mushroom or LSD doses, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't demand respect. It will feel extremely powerful and emotions may manifest as visuals and intertwine with your other senses as well. Conversations can get difficult and you shouldn't do this dose in public as you may lose your sense of reality and you may even hit ego death. This is especially the case if you close your eyes and or meditate. If you do meditate, expect to leave your body and fly through various vivid environments made of geometry and your subconscious. The level of beauty and love you can experience at this dose is enough to really change your life. Remember, if you're not a regular stoner, then do not smoke weed at this dose until you've peaked. It can genuinely amplify your trip by 10 times or more. And trust me, you will not be underwhelmed with just the 2CB. Personally, my trips at this dose have been absolutely amazing, but very intense. I can really see why Shogun fell in love with this compound. I wish you all a good happy trip and feel free to come visit me in the astral plane if you get the chance otherwise i will see you all next week